Wow, check this guy out. Wow, wow, wow. This is a beauty. Hello everyone. Um, so before we get started in this uh, uh, series of uh, Montana trip, um, I kind of wanted to do an overview of kind of um, the episodes and and uh, the first episode especially. Um, so basically, what we did is we just made a uh, the, as fast as we could get up to to Montana to uh, pick up our rooftop tent. That was kind of the purpose of getting up there and um and then just make a fishing trip out of it so um basically the uh the whole idea of the trip we were going to do a bunch of different rivers and do an episode on each river but it didn't work out that way <laughs> it's an overlanding trip so things don't always work out as uh, as you plan but um so Basically, once we got up there, uh, we picked up our rooftop tent and I had one spot picked out close by because I didn't know how long it would take uh, to uh, get it all installed and everything. And, uh, and I'm glad, glad I did because we got up to the first camp um, uh, as it was getting dark. So, um, and there was a snowstorm um, right before we got there. So. Um, a lot of the places were, were pretty heavy in snow, but, um, yeah, so, uh, basically the first episode is going to be, uh, getting up there and then, uh, the first, uh, uh, two nights, um, in different spots. And, um, basically, uh, the first night, um, I had picked out and then there was a couple other rivers that we got some bad advice from a fly shop. Um, and I'm not going to mention any names of fly shops or anything. Um, and, uh, so basically he gave us a couple different, uh, rivers to fish and said there was dispersed camping along the whole thing. And so we get to the second night, um, and there's, it's all private land and there was one campground and it was free. Um, so we stayed there and you know, that's, that's not so bad, but the fishing was not good. Um, and I don't know if the fish had moved on to the lake or, or what, but we fished for an hour and didn't see signs of anything. And so, you know how, when you come up to an area when you're waiting and, and you can see fish darting out and you're like, oh shoot. Well, um, we didn't see any of that. And then I finally was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go try to scare fish. And so I walked up and down and, and, and you know how you can usually see fish whoosh, like that. Well, there was nothing. So we decided to uh, abandon that and we spent the one night there and then moved on to the other, the bigger river that he had said was really good and dispersed camping along the whole thing. And there was no dispersed camping along any of it, all private land. And it was a big river, so technically you should just float it and that would be the best thing. And so we were pretty frustrated at that point and we didn't film a lot. And so I had some other rivers that I had uh, uh, marked on my maps. And, and so we went to that one and that's kind of where the second episode will start. And that's where the fishing got really good. And so um, that'll be the second episode. And then the third will be, we went to another river that, that was decent. Um, it would be better to fish earlier in the season, um, but still, still caught some, some fish there, but that'll be a shorter episode. We didn't spend a lot of time there, just one night. And then um, the fourth episode will be back at the, uh, the, the river uh, of the second episode and it was just too good to pass up that spot and everything was super good so that's kind of the the series uh kind of wrapped up a little bit and uh um and yeah so now we'll uh get started with the the first episode all right we are back with another adventure we are uh in utah right now and we are heading up to Montana, and this will be kind of a multi, 
uh, episode uh, adventure um, and uh, you know hit up some rivers some streams and hopefully the weather isn't gonna be too bad but um, right here in, in Utah it's as you can see it's we got we have snow already so <laughs> it could make for some uh, uh, some hard trails and everything but um, should be fun so yeah uh, stay tuned we found a camp and uh, we are snow camping but uh, we came in kind of late today to uh, pick up something that right there and yeah we barely got it installed in time and got out to this spot before it gets dark but it's just a regular campground but there's no fees or anything so it's free first thing we found and I figured we might as well do it but um, yeah there's a decent amount of snow right here and yeah, tomorrow uh, we'll probably start fishing. There's a little creek uh, straight that way. So um, we're gonna get all bundled up and get some dinner going real quick and then uh, call it a night. Well, good morning, everyone. It was a cold night. It was probably in the low uh, 20s. And now it's, it's uh, in the high 20s right now, but um, not, not too bad, but a little chilly. But yeah, here's our setup and worked out really well. And got Nancy over there cooking breakfast for us. She got her coffee going and uh, we'll probably just eat breakfast, pack up and then head out to um, find, find a, a better spot um, that gets more sunlight and, and, uh, and look for some, some good uh, streams to fish. And um, yeah, we'll uh, catch up later. All right, we found camp. We uh, ended up going down this dirt road for, oh, I'd say about an hour. And uh, um, there were supposed to be dispersed campsites down here, but there's just uh, free campgrounds. But uh, found this one. This one's pretty uh, pretty decent. Sun might be a little bad, but um, yeah, let's go check out the river. So still got some snow melting off. Um, we'll probably have a fire tonight, which will be nice, but I'm going to sneak up here because we're going to fish here in a second. So there's a nice little run right here that right there is where I want to fish. So yeah, there's, there's a nice little run over there, over there, but yeah, this looks, this looks good. So, uh, the wife's, uh, um, getting all set up to, to go fishing, so see you in a second. Thank you. 